And one of the primary mandates of the Roosevelt Skerritt led administration is to care for the poor, says one government official. The Minister for Justice, Immigration and National Security, Reuben Blackmore, stressed that the government strongly believes in providing for the needy and it is easy for others to become out of touch with those needs. When I became the parent, because sometimes it is so difficult for some of us who are looking more comfortable in life to appreciate and understand the needs of the poor. So when things are done for the poor people, to many, and authority. And those of us who may be fortunate to have some money and who are saying, of course, the government is throwing money in the wrong direction. But I want to say to these people that somebody should not be left to die because that person is poor. That is not what the Labour Party stands for. The Labour Party's mantra is about empowering people and taking care for the most of the most vulnerable in our mix. Blackmore commented that even for those who may think they are well off, it only takes one medical emergency to turn the tables. You can have a very impressive bank account, but a simple malady as serious as cancer, when you have to go for the treatment in a matter of a couple of weeks, all that money out in the bank can disappear. He emphasized that the Labour Party, especially Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, will not sit back and do nothing for those who need help. Some babies have been born with, with all kinds of maladies, I said, bro. So then they have a, a, a defect in the heart. And the poor mother and father did not have 20,000 euros. The Prime Minister, using his good self and his good office, and the Labour Party's philosophy, have uh, made a special facility available so we can assist persons in that predic predicament. And, lives, and many lives have been saved in that regard. He further spoke of the initiative of the government to offer medical insurance to single mothers with babies three years and under. He indicated that $5 million was allocated under the Citizenship by Investment Program to run the pilot insurance scheme that could eventually lead to a national health insurance program. important to echo this means because in the biggest economy in the world, the United States of America, when in both chambers of Congress, the Senate and the House, members cannot agree on a health care bill, especially for the most vulnerable. Blackmore underscored that health care ought to be a right and nobody should be simply left to die because of their circumstances. And yet, the revenue from the CBI program that makes this assistance possible remains under attack.